Ghana's Energy Minister, Dr. Matthew Poku Prempe, has emphasized that the country is still dedicated to developing a clean energy industry as part of its overall energy transition strategy. During a panel discussion on the energy sector on Monday, 17 July 2023, as part of the UK Africa Industrial Decarbonization Ministerial Tour, Dr. Prempe noted that Ghana has made significant progress in creating a transition framework that will guarantee a just and equitable transition towards achieving net zero. This, he said, is supported by his ministry's vision for a clean power sector and by initiatives to provide universal access to electricity by 2024, which currently is at 88.85%, as well as an increase in the installed capacity of contemporary renewable energy and in the energy mix to 10% by 2030. Dr. Matthew Opoku Prempe said that Ghana's economy will be predominantly powered by electricity, with a future demand for energy predicted to reach 380,000 gigawatts per hour and an installed generation capacity of 83 gigawatts by 2070. He added that new targets in significant economic sectors had been added to the nation's nationally determined contribution to the Paris Agreement, which had been amended and presented at COP26. He, however, called for significant investment in Ghana's energy industry and reaffirmed efforts to make the environment for the energy transition more welcoming to investors. Through the acquisition of the Norwegian oil and gas company Aka Energy, Africa Finance Corporation has acquired ownership of a deep water block off the coast of Ghana. According to a statement released by Aka ASA on 14th April, AFC Equity Investment, a business owned by AFC, agreed to purchase the shares of Aka Energy held by Aka Capital and the resource group TRG. Aka Energy's Deepwater Tunnel Cape Three Points block, which includes the Pecan Field and Discoveries totaling 450 to 550 million barrels of oil equivalent, will now be owned by AFC exclusively as a result of the agreement. According to President and CEO of Aka ASA, Ovind Eriksson, Aka still believes in the resource potential of the DWTCTP block in Ghana that the AFC is already invested in this field development and is well positioned to continue its development. Currently, TRG and Aka Energy each own 49.21% of the company's shares. In the DWTCTP block development, AFC previously committed $200 million in senior secured bonds. President and CEO of AFC, Samaila Subairu, said the DWTCTP project, which aims to develop Ghana's proven resources, has the potential to create jobs, increase government revenues, and spur development in the country. An integrated POD for the DWTCTP block was submitted to Ghana's authorities in March 2019, which envisaged phased development and production of the resources in the DWTCTP contract area, starting with the Pecan Field as phase one. The National Oil Company of Malawi has blamed the current fuel scarcity on gasoline import ship delays at the port of Beira in Mozambique that compelled the business to source the product through the Dar es Salaam port in Tanzania to Lilongwe. A resident of Malawi, Jata Mbulu, charged against the Malawi Energy Regulatory Authority of being dishonest about the real problem and causing gasoline shortages in Malawi. According to NOCMA Director of Operations, Miklas Rubin, the current gasoline crisis is being addressed. He said, letters of credits that were still pending have been confirmed. Engagements with regional banks have also secured $15 million and 3.2 million euros. Manager of Meres Consumer Affairs and Public Relations, Fitina Gonje, told the media that the continued shortage of foreign currency is affecting importation of adequate volumes of petroleum products into the country. However, licensed importers and all stakeholders in the fuel supply chain remain committed to minimizing stockouts and ensuring continuity of supply. She added that importers of petroleum products are always collaborating with important parties to develop solutions and maintain the supply of food. Germany has made progress this year in increasing its onshore wind power capacity, but it must pick up the pace to reach important targets for the decade, according to a sector analysis released on Tuesday. The German Wind Energy Association stated that 331 wind power plants with a combined capacity of 1.57 gigawatts have been constructed in the largest economy in Europe since January. 
According to the results of an analysis done in collaboration with the VDMA Association, which represents the power and heat production sector, activity in 2023 increased over the previous year and may reach 3.2 gigawatts by the end of December. With the current total reaching just 60 gigawatts, this expansion is still far from being sufficient to achieve the goal of 115 gigawatts deployed by 2030. It would need an annual expansion of 10 gigawatts starting in 2025 to nearly double this number. The industry associations expressed their optimism that a number of recent regulatory actions to reduce red tape would shortly go into effect. Visit energyghana.com or energyghanamagazine.com for more on these stories. Energy Brief is proudly brought to you by Airport View Hotel. Energy Ghana TV. Local in focus, global in perspective.